Welcome to Technology with Mike. This show is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network at techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's here. Today's podcast is brought to you by audible.com. Get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash techwithmike. Over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod or MP3 player. Visit audiblepodcast.com slash techwithmike for your free book today. And now for your host, Mike Tartaglia. Hello, hello, hello. It is time for Technology with Mike from Central Massachusetts. I am Mike Tartaglia. Welcome to the show. I'm here to make technology and the internet easier to understand. I'm going to try at least. Today is, uh, well, this is show number 89, recorded on Friday, um, August 12th, right? Today is Friday, August 12th, yep, uh, 2011. Uh, thank you for, ev- for ev- everyone for listening and downloading the show each and every week. I really do appreciate it. Uh, let's go through some contact information. You can contact me directly at the email address techwithmike at gmail.com. Uh, you can follow the show on Twitter. It's at techwithmike. Yeah, and you can also follow the, the, the site or the show on social media super site Chumley. That's chumley.com slash techwithmike. And visit our Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash techwithmike. Subscribe to the show via iTunes and see past shows at techwithmike.mevio.com. That's our video provider. Um, or visit the site at techwithmike.com. Contact us at our voicemail phone number. And um, let's see. That is 508 508- Three seven two zero one two three. That's five zero eight three seven two zero one two three. You can call me up and uh, leave me a voicemail. Tell me, give me a, a suggestion for a show topic, or just say hi. Why not? You know, I don't mind that. Just give me a call. I'm lonely. No. Um, okay. So before we get going on our show, um, and you know, I, I did tweet about it um, er, um, about a week ago, saying I'm going to absolutely lose it. And I'm going to tell you about that in a second. But before we do, it's uh, our sponsor, Audible. Audible.com is the leading provider of uh, audio. Yeah, I can't talk today. The leading provider of downloadable and digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. They have over 75,000 titles. And so this is what it is all about. If you, if you like to read, but you just can't read because like, you're driving or something like that, you shouldn't be reading while you're driving. Remember that. Um, but uh, if. If you like to read a lot, you can listen to a book. And listen to books is, is very easy to do on your any, any type of media device you have, like iPhone, iPod, uh, Android phone, your computer, whatever. Listen to a book. I'm going to recommend a book for you. It's called Accidental, um, Accidental Billionaires. Um, if I can bring it up here, I want to show quickly because um, our, our, guest, our guest is waiting patiently. Um, it's called Accidental Billionaires, The Founding of Facebook by Ben Mesrich. Narrated by Mike Chamberlain. Really good book. It's all about how Facebook became Facebook. And if you see all the social network me um, social network video, that was um, that was or oh, the movie. Sorry, it's been a long day. I'll explain later. Um, if you've seen the social network movie, it, it's basically the same thing in the book, and uh, it, it's a really interesting book. But it could be yours for free if you go to audiblepodcast.com/slash/techwithmike today. Go get it. It's a free book. Even if you decide not to keep Audible, you can keep this book for free. Audiblepodcast.com slash techwithmike. Okay, so that's enough of our sponsor. Now I want to I want to introduce a very important guest, in my in my opinion, very important guest. His name is Charles Teague, the CEO of Lose It. Hey Charles, how you doing? Good. How you doing, Mike? Good. You unmuted yourself. I was I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, I'm on this. I'm a pro. Yeah, he's definitely on the ball. Um, <laughs> but um so I told everybody that I was going to absolutely lose it. They probably get, got the wrong impression, but that's, that's called a teaser, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so um, you're, you're the CEO of Lose It. Why don't we talk about what is Lose It? So Lose It is uh, basically an application that helps people lose weight. Uh, and it's actually started back in 2008 
uh, as an iPhone application. And so in 2008, we released this iPhone application. And the iPhone application basically helps you set up a calorie budget and then keep track of your eating and your exercise uh, and sort of helps you stay on budget. Um, and so we released that in November of 2008. It pretty quickly became uh, the top free health and fitness application uh, in iTunes. Uh, and since then, we've released uh, a web version. We actually have an Android version available in the app market right now. We should have a book. Uh, and all of, the, all of the stuff that Lose It does is really based around a pretty scientifically based approach to weight loss, which really basically combines what we call food journaling or keeping track of what you eat and your exercise, mix that in with a little bit of peer support, uh, and you basically have the recipe for success. Um, I, I, actually, I actually agree with that 100% because I, um, I used Lose It last, I forget when I think it was last year, but ever since I started losing or using Lose It, losing Use It, I'm reversing everything here. Every time, ever since I started using Lose It, I actually lost, um, actually today it said on Lose It um, on my iPhone, it said I lost, since I started, I lost 23 pounds. All right. And actually that's one more pound than when I talked to you last about a week ago. So, nice, nice. <laughs> so it's actually working. So, so let's, let's talk about um, the main part of it. Like how does it work? All right. Well, so the basic premise is, you know, you, you go get Lose It. You go to Lose.com. You go to iTunes. You go to the app market. You get Lose It. It's free. Uh, and then you basically um, get walked through a simple set of questions. Your height, your weight, your age, your gender, uh, your current weight, and then your goal weight. Um, and then with that information, we basically set up a budget for you. And that budget just tells you, here's how much, uh, how many sort of calories you should, you should have each day. Um, and what's great about Lose It is it doesn't tell you but here's what you eat. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't say like, don't eat carbs, only eat broccoli. Uh, it's the cabbage diet. It just says, you know what? You want to eat a donut in, for breakfast, and then you want to have a salad for lunch, and then you want to have a hamburger for dinner. If you hit your calorie budget, you're going to be okay. Uh, and so it really, what it, what it tries to do is boil it all down to the lowest common denominator, which is that, that calorie balance. And then, like I said, we also introduced a second thing, which is peer support. And it turns out that that calorie balance in sort of getting you set up with a calorie budget and educating you about what it is you're eating and how much you should be eating and, and you know, the exercise you're doing. That education process is really valuable. Uh, it gets even more valuable if you mix in, you know, peers, friends, colleagues, and other folks who are providing support and assistance. Well, let's, let's, let's talk about that a little bit. Um, um, how do friends actually impact the success? Um, what, uh, what mechanisms are in, there in place to, um, to, uh, to do that? Well, so the so you know the whole concept for us of the social features that we added in Lose It started with scientific studies that actually showed that you know if you took someone who was just tracking their exercise and their food and then you added peer support, you'd actually double the efficacy of the weight loss program. And so we looked at that and we said, okay, and you know this was this was an older study and it was using paper and pencil and it was you know using you know meetings and phone calls and really traditional kinds of uh, kinds of support and interaction. And so we said, well, if that's true, you know, here we have what we think is a much uh, simpler, faster, easier, better way to keep track of this. Um, but I think there's a lot of technology out there for, on the social side for doing peer support that doesn't require face-to-face, -face, doesn't require phone calls. Um, and so we right away uh, implemented a set of social features. You know, and they look a lot like uh, what you'd see with Facebook. You, know, you have an activity stream. As you uh, make friends with folks, your activity is shared among your friends. And so it builds up this sort of passive sharing among your colleagues and your, your support network. Um, and right away what you see is, you know, when you weigh in and you lose a pound like you just did, two of your friends chime in and they give you a pat on the back. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, when you go for a run for half an hour, you, you right away you've got people commenting and, and giving you support. And, you know, when you weigh in like me today and you gain half a pound, oh. uh, you know, you got a couple people saying, hey, don't worry about it. You know, you're going to go the other way, you know, or, uh, hey, what's going on? What are you doing? Uh, and so, uh, you know, it, it really does work. Well, the thing about, thing about the weight loss, um, and we have to say that um, if you're going to go into a weight loss program like this, you know, consult the doctor first. Of course. Uh, but um, so what I noticed with my, with my weight loss, and I'm not going to mention any weight numbers, but I noticed it will go down. You know, it'll it'll go down a little bit, and then it will go up a lot. And you'll see, like, you have a graph on the on the on the um, on the app, and mm -hmm. then it'll, then it'll, you'll see it drop down tremendously. And I always and it's great because it gives you a feel um, that you're first of all you're doing doing it right, and <laughs> and and the fact that you know um, you see a pattern on how mm -hmm. you can lose weight. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I think that's probably varies. I mean, it's. It, 
here's part of what's great is the, the way people lose weight and, and each person, it's such a dynamic thing that it probably varies really a lot person to person, you yep, know? Yep. Um, and, you know, if you were mixing in a lot of exercise, for example, it's kind of a no-brainer that you might actually see uh, either a plateau or a little bit of a weight gain because you might be taking fat and turning that into muscle, yep. um, you know, and, and that might not, you might not stand on the scale and feel like that's a, that's an improvement, but it will turn out that is an improvement. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's, it's one of those things that part of what lose it is trying to do is educate you about yourself. It's not trying to tell you, here's this generic plan, just follow this generic plan that we invented and it works for everybody. It's saying, we're going to educate you about you, about the foods you like to eat, about the impact they're having on you. We're going to educate you about the exercise you're doing, the impact it's going to have on you. And that's, what's going to be the tool for you to lose weight. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, um, and the one thing that I've noticed, and ever since I started using it, and you find out, find out, for lack of a better word, the crap you put into your body. <laughs> I, I mean, seriously. I mean, we got. I mean, you you would never know that. Um, uh, let's see. I don't know a candy bar would have so many calories in it. You know, yeah. um, and sometimes you, you, know, you want the big surprise. Yeah. Forget candy bars. How about a muffin? So you think oh. I'm going to go to Dunkin' Donuts today? I'm either going to get a muffin <laughs> or a donut. And the answer is get the donut. It's so much better for you than the muffin. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Wow. So you'll, be, you'll be dropping 500 calories on that muffin. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, that's true. They put all that sugar on it. And yeah. oh, yeah. my. That is terrible. Yeah. That is terrible. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I went to a, a local fast food um, restaurant. I'm not going to mention any names. Actually, it's not a fast food. It's more like a sub shop. And they had a, you know, they had this, um, this honey mustard chicken salad, right? This whole salad is like twelve hundred calories there you go. for a salad. Yeah, um, you can go to another fast food restaurant and get one for that's like three hundred calories. Yeah, I mean that was just it, it. Just it opens up your eyes to everything you eat. Well, that's I think that's um, that's an experience we hear people have all the time. Yeah. Is that you know they sort of they start using lose it and they right away have this this sort of like whoa like that's <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> well, yeah, okay, no wonder. Um, you know, but but you know, I actually was just talking to a couple uh, a couple of the guys that lose it the other day about this. You know, a uh, hundred calories a day. That's that's basically if you sort of look at America and where we're at with two thirds of us needing to lose some weight. Yeah, we pretty much got there um, by about a hundred calories a day. We just do a hundred calories too much every single day. You do that all year, you're going to put on about eight pounds a year, uh, and it turns wow. out that's about where we're at. And so you know, it's it turns out you know it's. You know, I think two of the lessons you get from Lose It are it's a, you know, you start to get your eyes open about what it is you're putting in your body, but you also start to learn, well, this is a thing I can control, and I don't have to go crazy. You know, I don't have to say I'm not eating, bre- I'm only having a, you know, a rice cake for breakfast, and I'm only having some lettuce for dinner. Mm-hmm. You really can have a relatively normal diet, and you can mix in exercise in a relatively normal quantity, and you'll start to see change. You just have to be patient. You got to realize it's going to be happening one or two pounds a week. But that that's going to let you change your lifestyle and sustain it. One thing I like about Lose It is is you can, um, like, say you say you did go crazy for lunch and you you overdid a little bit of, of the calories that you wanted to take. You can actually, you know, <laughs> go home and do some exercise. Like I'll get on the elliptical for for twenty five to thirty minutes, usually twenty twenty five minutes, depending on my mood. <laughs> but I'll get on the elliptical. I'll burn um, I don't know whatever is like two hundred and twenty calories, and then you go enter that into Lose It. And guess what? You have 220 calories that you can now eat. Exactly. Exactly. And so it really is about finding that balance. And so, you know, if you're like me, okay, uh, you, can't, you couldn't get me in a gym, ironically. So, you know, you couldn't, <laughs> I never go to a gym. I don't ever, I can't, you can't get me on an elliptical machine. It just drives me insane. Uh, and so how, how do I lose weight? Well, I have to either find a way, you know, go play ice hockey in the winter. I, I do that in the winter, you know, uh, find a way to go for a walk with the family, go for a hike. Or just modify my diet. You know, for someone like me, you can get away with just, you know, I'll just tune back, tune back that 200 calories in terms of what I eat. Skip yeah. the snack tonight. Uh, and uh, I'll achieve the same thing as hitting that elliptical. Well, the other thing we haven't really talked about yet um, uh, is, is sort of like your partnerships you have. Um, if you want to help out and lose more calories, get one of these. There like you go. Show it on here. It's called the Fitbit. And that, and pretty much, can you tell us how, how that ties into, um, into Lose It? Because you guys have a partnership in it, and it's actually, you can connect to it and everything. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool, it's a really cool device. And so it's, the Fitbit is, has a three-dimensional accelerometer in it. Uh, and it actually, you just wear it on your pants. You just wear it around all day while you're doing stuff. Uh, and you can wear it while you're running. You can wear it while you're walking. And it actually tracks your activity level. But it's, 
it's more, you know, you might just think, hey, that's a pedometer. I, you know, I can go get one of those for 15 bucks. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, since it's got the three-dimensional accelerometer in it, it knows a lot more than just that you took a step. It knows, for example, if I go out and shoot baskets and I'm running hard, it knows that I'm running yeah. hard. Yeah. It knows that I'm jumping. It knows that I'm highly active, not just taking steps. Yeah. Uh, and so it, what, it, you know, what it starts to do is it starts to really measure each, you know, each day, here's how active you really are, Charles. Um, and what's really great about the way it integrates with Lose It is anytime you get near your computer and you've got your Fitbit on, it syncs the data. You know, so it takes whatever your activity has been tracking and it sort of syncs it. And that ends up in Lose It. So that's on your phone then. That's on loseit.com. Uh, and what it really does is it gives you a much better estimate of how you're, how active you are, you know. And so when you when you fill out those first questions and lose it, you tell us your height, your weight, your age, gender. We're sort of setting up a baseline for you and saying, well, here's about how active we think you're going to be, and therefore here's about how many calories we think you're going to burn each day. The Fitbit actually makes that so much more precise because it's literally telling you, you know. Yesterday, you just sat around all day. You actually burned less than we thought you were going to. Today, you ran errands. You took the family out for a walk. You, you, know, you did these seven things. You were a lot more active. Hey, you burned an extra 200 calories, for, you know, more than we thought you were going to burn. And that actually shows up just like the elliptical does as credit inside of losing. Yeah. Well, one, one tip to everybody who, who has a Fitbit, though, you cannot swim with it. Yeah. <laughs> unless, unless, you know, I just thought of this. You could swim with it. You put it in a baggie. Uh, <laughs> you put it in a baggie, put it in, shove it in a pocket or something, and you. Uh, can, ah. You know, it turns out it's uh. only. Uh, I actually, I actually wore it during one of my hockey games, and I talked to them about it afterwards, and they said, you know, what? it just it's some some kind of motions. It just doesn't really know how oh, to yeah? go with like ice skating. <laughs> I don't think it would know what to do with swimming either. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Well, you had there, there are a lot of things on on the, the that you guys are partnering up with. And and some people like um, I've talked to people, and I I highly recommend anybody I talk to. I talk, I tell them use lose it, you know, because 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 it's, it's now because it's now on um, Android, right? You just recently came out with the Android app. Yeah, we recently just came out. Actually, a little bit maybe two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, off to an awesome start. More than we're just crossed fifty thousand downloads already. Wow. Um, you know, so we're we're off to a great start. And you know what's awesome about our our sort of this early Android release is, you know, all we did was just put it in the app market. I mean, this is part of what's so great about Lose It and been so exciting about working on it is been it's organic word of mouth kind of growth. And so we had a lot of success on, on, the, on the iPhone. But when we just turned on loseit.com, we went from zero to a million users <laughs> on our website in like six months. And we just all we did was just sort of put a button on the homepage and now you can create an account. And uh, now here we are on Android, we just sort of put it in the app market and we don't advertise it. We don't, you know, we don't get it featured in, you know, in the Android app market and we're at 50,000 downloads two weeks later. Wow, you, uh, this sounds like the Evernote of health or health and fitness <laughs> because that's the, it sounds like Evernote's story. You know, they yeah. they all of a sudden they went up to a million users. You know, that's amazing. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. Well, we always, you know, I think we think we always felt like if if lose it really helps people lose weight, then what's going to happen is someone like you is going to be talking to a friend and they're going to go, "You look awesome. What happened?" And they're going to go, "Oh, you know, what happened is I use this iPhone app and I use this Android app. I use this website, um, and that there's almost." No better marketing on earth, you know, because you know we couldn't make a TV ad any better than you just talking to one of your friends yeah. and explaining to them how. That's you right. Do that. Testimonials are key. I mean, yeah. I got um, I got my my wife is using it now, um, my mother's using it, so so all ages can use it now. And it's funny because and I know there's a there's a warning say you know not not to be used for people under 18 years old, which for obvious reasons. Yeah. But um, <laughs> but my son wanted to download it and put it on his iPod. He's eight years old. So he's playing around. He says, oh, I had a candy here. He put it in. It's so funny. But you know what? He's going to be using that when he gets older. Yeah. He'll be able to still use it. Yeah. And, um, and I, just, I just found that to be amazing because, you know, and he's eight years old. He can use it. It's very easy for him to use. It's, it's part of what's wonderful about mobile apps in general is if they're well done, yeah. you know, you just, you just hand your phone. I mean, we had the same experience. I have kids that are four and six, and you just – Take your iPhone, you take your Android phone, and you just hand it to them. Yep. yep. You don't, don't say anything, just hand it to them. And they understand how to use this thing. Uh, and it really shows you how intuitive and simple and how right it really is. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's had apps that where, he, where he, he tried to use them and he just couldn't use them just because of the way it was designed. Yeah. But you're right. I mean, he uses Evernote, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A well-designed app on a mobile, a touch mobile platform, it, it, people just understand it, everyone. And that, that goes from kids all the way to folks who are in their 70s or 80s. I mean, it's just, it just applies to everybody. 
Well, there's another question then. People are going to be asking, you know, how much is this? How much is this? And 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 you're going to say, I'm going to say it's all free except for our book. You do have to buy our book, but oh, yeah. uh, but the, all the apps, the website, all of that is free. Uh, actually, how much is the book? I wonder how the I think the book is. Yeah, I should know this. It's maybe 17 bucks. <laughs> Well, oh, that's bucks? not bad. And it tell, talks about what, what does it talk about? Like, what is it um, talked about the concepts and everything? Yeah, I mean, basically, the book, um, we came out with the book in January with, um, and actually, we worked with this great writer, Anahat O'Connor. Um, uh, he's a, he writes for the New York Times. Um, and it basically just outlines, um, you know, I, I think I alluded to this earlier, you know, the, the way Lose It approaches weight loss actually has a very strong basis in science. And so, most of its approaches to weight loss are basically derived from scientific studies that have demonstrated successful weight loss that can be sustained. Uh, and so we basically said, well, you know, wouldn't it be great if everyone understood all of this stuff? Wouldn't that be awesome if we could really sort of teach you all the stuff we learned about the math and the science and the biology and everything of weight loss? Problem is you read those studies, they're, they're a little dry. Uh, you know, we couldn't just point you at the studies. So part of what the book does is it basically says, we're going to try to explain those things to you in, uh, in a way that's going to let you design a plan for yourself. And so, you know, rather than uh, having you just think, you know, someone's got to tell me, eat this, do this, do this, we're going to just educate you and go, here's how your body works. Here's how weight loss works for real. Uh, now you can start to construct a plan using Lose It and the, with the guidance of the book for how you want to lose weight and what's going to work for you. Uh, and so it's really, it's, a, it's either, you know, if you, if, you, if you can't use Lose It for some reason, it's a great way to get your head around weight loss. And if you're using Lose It, it really makes uh, what we're doing with the app a lot more transparent. You really start to see, oh, okay, this is really the, the, fa- the fundamentals that this app is based on. So um, just to let you know, um, I'm showing it right now on Amazon. <laughs> it okay. is fourteen ninety five. Okay. That was a great deal. And the Kindle edition, it's on the Kindle, it's eight fifty three. dollars I was going to say, sub $10 on the Kindle. I yeah. yeah. I mean, you know what? I'm doing this on video right now. <laughs> if, if I can find my mouse, where's my mouse go? I'm going to click on read it now on this PC, and that'll download it from my Kindle or to my iPad later on. Uh, download it to iPad 2. Place order. Okay. So now I'm going to have it on my iPad Kindle app. Thank you very much. It's awesome. I want to read oh, that so you. bad. Thank you. Um, so, so, so you have the book. You make money um, for this, but but how sure. how are you plan? How what's your business model? How how do you plan on making money for the app? I mean, well, you know, we so we you know we get zero dollars for each of our users, but we plan to make it up in volume. You know, we figure yeah. we just get enough users for zero dollars. No, you know, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think um, part of the premise when we started Lose It was. Um, was we were going to focus in the early days on value. And so we were going to say, we, wanted, we want to make the very best experience, and we want to make sure that people who use it succeed. And that's part of what we really do is we focus on the outcome. And so we really say, we want people to actually succeed losing weight. Um, and we had a belief from day one, if we can help people lose 20 pounds, if we can help people lose 40 pounds, we've helped people lose 200 pounds. If we can do that for someone, we're creating so much value in their life oh, yeah. uh, that, that we said, okay, that then we'll have this great problem, which is we've created all this value for all these people. <laughs> so now let's figure out how we're gonna how we're gonna um, uh, capture some of that value. Now so, now we're out we, of jobs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I think the last couple of years we spent focused on creating that experience and, and building that basis of success. Yeah. Uh, you know, this last year is when we really started to work on that second part of the problem. Uh, you know, and at this point, I'd say we're not we haven't yet uh, sort of raised the kimono on how we plan to, to monetize this. But what I will say is. There's great abundant opportunities on the consumer side. We have, uh, you know, between one and a half and two million folks use Lose It every single month. Uh, you know, you, you know, unique users use it every month. And so we have a big base of active users uh, that's growing. Uh, and and on, we actually have places we can use it that aren't on the consumer side. So it, Lose It actually makes sense as a part of a corporate wellness program. It makes sense as a part of medically supervised weight loss. It makes sense if you're working in conjunction with a personal trainer or a nutritionist or a dietitian. Uh, and so we actually look at, at all of those things, and we think there's abundant opportunities, and, and we think we'll have something in both of those spheres uh, uh, that's going to help us make a little bit of money. Cool. Well, I just want to mention one more thing um, in regards to um, like partnerships. We didn't mention the one thing that I really, really think is cool. What do you okay. think it is? What do you think it is? A, a partner of ours? Yeah. Maybe the Withing Scale? Ah, yes. The Withing <laughs> Scale. Here it is right here is the box. 
And this is awesome. Um, do you want to quickly, I don't want to take up too much more of your time, but can sure. you quickly talk about how this works? Yeah, so, so it's, it's great. It's a wireless scale. So it's a scale that connects to your Wi-Fi network at home. Uh, and you basically set it up, and whenever you stand on the scale, it records your weight. Um, and it records your weight on either withings.com, so you can go to withings.com and log in and see a weight chart. But if you connect it to lose it, it's actually going to come all the way through to lose it. And so every time you stand on the scale, that weight is recorded and lose it. And what's awesome about that, of course, is now it's in your pocket. Yeah. It's on the iPhone. It's on the Android phone. Uh, but even better, it starts to integrate with those social features. And so I stand on the scale in the morning, uh, and now... You know, when I lose that pound, there's people already commenting on it. You know, so I'm standing on the scale and my phone starts buzzing, and that's because I'm getting notification that three people have already started saying, "Awesome job, congratulations, good work." Um, and so it really starts to make. It's interesting because it makes sort of the, the sharing we do. It makes it incredibly passive. It's not even about, you know, I'm going to go to the computer, I'm going to sync something, I'm going to upload a picture, and that's what sharing is. It's yeah. I'm just going to go stand on the scale and I'm sharing. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm going to just be wearing a Fitbit. I'm sharing. Like, my activity is showing up in a stream. People can comment on it. My friends can give me support. Um, and so it really brings that sharing thing into just your day-to-day -day life, which is cool. That's, um, that's what every product nowadays should have is some sort of a social feature. And that's what yep. this is. Yeah, it's awesome. awesome. I, I love it. I, I absolutely love it. And I can't wait to read that book. I'm going to start reading <laughs> tonight. I got, I'm going on, we're going on vacation um, starting Monday, so maybe I'll be able to read it on vacation. Who knows? All right. Well, they, you know, thank you for that. I do appreciate it. You know, we probably could have worked something out where I could have could have hooked you up with a free one, but I appreciate the order. Uh, no, you know what? Uh, it's worth it. It's, I mean, the, the, the app is free. What am I? What else do I want? Jeez. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Charles, thank you very much for coming on. I really do appreciate it. I really do. Actually, this is the second time we recorded this because we had problems before, so I double appreciate it. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I appreciate you taking the time with me twice, and I uh, look forward to talking to you again soon, Mike. Anything new that comes around the on the horizon for Lose It? Just let me know. We'll get you back on, and we'll talk about it. All right, we'll do. Okay, you take care. All right, see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That was Charles Teague, CEO of Lose It at LoseIt.com. Go there now. Sign up. It's free. Get the app for your Android or iPhone. Oh, it's really, really handy. That's all I can say. If, you, if you're looking to stay fit, to, to lose weight, to maintain weight, <laughs> I guess you could even use it to, to, to gain weight, but why would you do that? <laughs> um, go there, LoseIt.com. Okay, before I ta start talking about what the, the, the apps that I have and the services I, I, I want to talk about that are new out there, I want to talk about some, a company that's not really a sponsor, not officially a sponsor, but I did set up something for them with them where you can get a discount. Okay, they are squaretrade.com. Um, this is the place to go. Uh, let me show it on the website. This is the place to go if you want to have um, a warranty on your electronic device your iPhone, your iPad, or whatever. But today, and, you know, it's, here's a story. I, I, had, I, had, um, I had an iPad, the original iPad, and the, uh, we got water on it. I, had the, I bought this plan. It was like um, $90 or, or $100 for um, two years or whatever. I forget what I bought. I think it was a two-year plan with accidental damage. That's how much it was. And um, guess what? The iPad didn't work anymore. They sent me a box. I, I, I filed a claim. They sent me a box. I shipped it back to them. They sent me the full $600 that I paid for it to my PayPal account. I'll send them the check or whatever they want or however you want to get it um, or a gift card. $600. What I paid for it a year, over a year ago, well over a year ago. So that paid off. This is my testimony to Square Trade. It's cheaper than the stores, the retail stores. And it's a lot more effective and a lot more useful, in my opinion. So today, you can get $10 off at squaretrade.com by going to my URL. And I don't have it on the screen, but, but if you go to bit.ly slash square TWM, that's bit.ly slash square TWM, you'll get $10 off your iPhone or iPad warranty. Um, and if you look here, they, they cost, they cost um, it'd be your price for an iPhone 4. 16 gigabyte, eighty-nine dollars for two years, and then the um, the iPad 2, 16 gig, eighty-nine dollars for two years with, with accidental damage. You can't beat that anywhere else. Say goodbye to Apple Care. Go with Square Trade. Okay, they're not a sponsor. Just want to let you know, I'm very happy with their service there. Okay. Okay, so we got some we got some things to talk about here. I got 
the new service out there. Um, if you love music, you have iTunes, uh, you use iTunes, you buy music all the time, here's a better way to do it. You can get music for $10 a month. You can get any song you want that's out there. And that's all at Spotify.com. So Spotify, it's, a, it's, a, it's an app. Uh, I believe it's on, it's on the iPhone, the Android. And uh, I'm not sure if it's on Windows Mobile, but you can check it. You can get it on. You can get it on your Mac, your PC, and you can you can listen to any any music for nine ninety nine a month. You can get um, let's see what it says down here. You can get it for free, and it will synchronize with your iTunes, uh, or you can get it. You can um, you get offline mode where you can download any song and put it on your device or on your PC or whatever. Um, you pretty much have your own Sp Spotify library, and you can share playlists playlist to your friends on Facebook or whatever, and they can go and listen to your playlist. They can add to your playlist. You can collaborate on playlists. Really, really cool features. It's only $10. I think it's $9.99 a month, right? I'm, I'm, I'm a subscriber, and um, I think there's also a cheaper plan for $4.99. You get a little bit less functionality, but $9.99 a month for unlimited music stream directly. You can either stream it directly to your iPhone or iPad or whatever, and then or you can download it directly to it, and it, so you don't have the internet connection where, you, where you're going to be, and you can listen to it anywhere you are. Spotify.com. And uh, here's the, um, if I can bring up the app, I'll show you what it looks like. And this is the app, what it looks like. You have your, you know, on the left side, you have your devices, your libraries, you know, your, your different playlists. Like I have a guitarist playlist that, I, like my favorite guitarist is right now, I have some Joe Satriani in there. Awesome guitarist. Um, I have some piano music in there because I love the piano music. I got some tunes to cruise by on my, in the car, you know, classical music. So I set up all those playlists, and my friends can go and see those playlists and, and play them. Really cool. So uh, Spotify.com, go grab it. Um, I'm very happy with it. I don't recommend things often, so take it as it is. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is a service. Really interesting. It, meets, it, meet, it mixes audio with social networking. It is called SoundCloud at SoundCloud.com. So what you can do is you can record a sound and you can share it to anybody you want to. It sounds corny, but it works and it's really cool. Um, so you can share it anywhere, Twitter, Blogger, uh, WordPress, Facebook, um, anywhere. And um, so there's like, you know, I'm doing like a photo, photo a day 365 project um, on my own. You can do something like a sound a day. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds weird, but no pun intended. It sounds weird, but it um, it really is um, an interesting app. So go try it out. SoundCloud.com. There's a free iPhone app, and I'm not sure if it's on Android or other, but you can check it out. See if it's on your um, see if it's on your um, device. Another service I want to talk about, and I want to sh actually show this on my iPad if I can. Um, it is called um, SkyGrid. And what SkyGrid is, is um, it is your news. You pretty much read your news. So any type, anything that you, any type of product you're interested in, or um, like I, like I put on here, I want to read about anything we have to do with Google. So here's all the different things about going on about Google. And this, you can read the article over here, um, uh, and and you can select different articles, or you can go and you can go and select. Um, if you want to, like I. Latest latest news on iPad. His latest news on iPad. You know different things. You know, uh, so so it's the news that you want. Um, so instead of having to cipher uh, siphon through all these different or filter through all these different news articles that you don't really care about, this is all the news that you want. Any type of topic, anything. It's not just technology. It's not just um, um, you know politics or anything like that. It's anything that you want to know about, and it keeps you up to date. So that's, that's cool. Um, so I'm using that. It's free. SkyGrid. It's a search for it on, um, on iPad or iPhone or uh, on Android, too. Okay? Go check it out. And then the next thing I want to talk about is uh, a cool little device. Like, we're going on vacation, too, like I mentioned earlier. And, um, you know, you bring your, bring your iPhone, you bring your iPad, and say, say you know, we're, we're going to be on the, on the beach. You know, you want to be able to use your iPhone or whatever, whenever, whenever you want, right? But the battery dies. What do you do? Oh, my God. Well, you can't plug it into the nearest plug because you're on the beach. But you can grab one of these devices, and I'm going to show it in just a second. Um, grab one of these devices called the Zag Spark 2. You can get it for 100, like under 100 bucks, like $99.99 if you want to be specific. And what it does, it allows you to charge, fully charge an iPhone, iPad, or whatever 
and use it at the same time. And I think it's like three or four times you can charge an iPhone fully. And this is, you know, you have little, you have little um, lights on the side here that are, that light up and tell you how much it's, how much it's charged. Um, uh, and here's the website right here. So it's called the Zag Spark 2. Um, what a concept. So you plug it in, you let it charge up, and then you, then you can plug any, any device that has USB pretty much. So uh, go check them out, zag.com. And I'm going to include show, um, links to the show notes in the show notes for all this stuff. But um, that's really cool. So, again, I want to thank, in conclusion, I want to thank. That sounds almost sound like Dracula. Um, I want to thank Charles Teague, the CEO of Lose It, for coming on. That was awesome. I loved having him on um, at uh, loseit.com. And I guess until next time, uh, probably should cue the music, shouldn't I? Until next time, help you later. <laughs>